Here's a related question from Dan Smith. He says, total bond is what it is, and the index of tracts is what it is, and my circumstances have not changed. How do I decide whether or not to hold my positions as long as I live, to put it one way, or hunker down in the Barclays aggregate, to put it another? Well, basically, I'd go for hunkering down. We are. Uh, these relative yields will change. The one thing we do know is today's yield has a 91% correlation, and we'll continue to have a 91% correlation, more or less, with the returns we get over the next 10 years. So if you buy a government bond today at 3%, and a corporate bond at 4%, 4.5%, uh, the odds are very high uh, that you'll get a 4.5% return over the next 10 years, or a 3% return over the next 10 years. And uh, so it favors you know, getting a little more aggressive with the yield side. That said, we all have, you know, I try and take, and it's impossible to do, the idea of human behavior in all this, how will investors react? And I'm afraid that once you get a little opportunistic and reach out for something else, and you'll be much too sensitized, much too insensitized to the prices that the bond fund has. And bond funds have gone down a lot, although you know, the reality is they haven't gone down nearly as much. When you read these scare things, this is a very important point. These scare things in the paper about what a terrible year this is for bonds. And I can tell you in my own, my own experience, um, the way I do it, uh, my bond portfolio has gone down 0.9% this year. And that's because I have half of them. the unis are my direct, direct holdings, uh, tax-free muni, funds, Spain were tax-free munis. And the, uh, the uh, limited term fund is down 0.1%. And the, the uh, intermediate term, I don't, I don't do long because it's for behavioral reasons. Um, you know, I don't want to mess myself up. It's about 1.8%. So you put 50 50 in, you can see it's going to be probably 4.9. And that's a trial over for me. And I wish I'd had everything in stocks. I always wish things like that. I always wish I'd had everything in the best performing asset. <laughs> <laughs> But my magic, such as it may be, is I never act in those beliefs. <laughs> and that's really an important thing. And don't let your behavior overcome. Uh, and, you know, I, I, at the lows in February, a little bit like the story I told you about Gus last night, um, I was scared. Why wouldn't I be scared? I mean, everybody must be scared. So when you're scared and, and say, you know, I really want to do something about this, uh, I go back and read my books. <laughs> 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 they might put me to sleep a little bit. But. <laughs>